Now we are halfway through February break and so far this week we have highlighted some fun things that you can do in Rhode Island for all ages. Today we are checking out what there is to do at the Museum of Natural History and Planetarium at Roger Williams Park. Now joining us today to tell us what's going on this week is Museum Director Renee Gamba. Good morning Renee. Good morning. Thanks so much for coming in. Now I am coming over towards you. I know you can. In just a little bit <laughs> because I want to I want to tell you to tell everybody about the about the the museum itself because it was it's it's one of those places that if, if you're a kid, you probably went to on a lot of school trips, but it really is. There are so many incredible things that you folks have there. Oh, absolutely. It's a hidden gem in Rhode Island. We're Rhode Island's only natural history museum. Right. Uh, we have exhibits dedicated to Oceania, of course, thinking about urban wildlife. And this week, we're really celebrating mission space. So we have activities and things to think about when we go back to the moon, maybe children out there, they'll be the next astronaut to Mars and sure. just get ready to explore. Sure, tell us about the planetarium that you have there too, because that's also a unique thing that many people, they, they may or may not know that you have there, but it is a beautiful experience when you go in. Absolutely, so the planetarium is a dome theater mm -hmm. and it recreates the night sky so you can, the weather's always beautiful in the planetarium, <laughs> skies always are always clear. Right. Um, and we have shows right now, we have shows um, at one o'clock and two o'clock, tomorrow and Friday, and we have shows weekends at two, uh, and you get to just take a trip to the stars, look go to the that. solar system, visit a planet, looks. and just relax. And just relax and look up. Look, I'm a space geek. I'm one of these people who will go outside and stare up at the at the sky at nighttime to see if I can see things flying over or break out the, the telescope. What's the reaction from, from the little kids, and I would even say people my, my Our, age, adults who too. go into, when they go into that room and, and see that? So I've been there over 20 years, and when those lights go down and you can really enjoy the beauty of the night sky, void of light pollution, and you hear the oohs and ahs, it's just fantastic yeah. and uh, I never get tired of it. Okay, let's get down to what you brought here because I'm coming over because <laughs> this is so cool. Tell us about what you have. So I actually have some rocks from space right. that fell to earth meteorites. So this, basically these are pieces of the solar system over four billion years old. So would you like to hold the space yeah, rock? I, I do, so so when, when, when I first picked this up, it wasn't what I expected, it, it's basically a piece of, of iron, mm -hmm. correct? Yes. That has traveled for billions and billions of years. Yep, so it's just pieces of asteroid or, you know, possibly comets, just the leftovers of when our solar system first formed over four billion years ago. Of course, we kind of cut that and polished it so you can see, right. you know, the iron, uh, one of the most stable elements. We think about, you know, stars that go super over and collapse sure. in on themselves and black holes and, you know, all those amazing things. Right. Now, they've numbered it, so I can't, uh, like, yeah, like well, lift no. it. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> so no. So I can't seal it. And, and tell us about this, because this is actually when it's been cut open, mm -hmm. correct? So this is when it's cut open, and then, you know, you analyze it to just think about uh, what the solar system was made of and kind of have a better understanding of not just out in space, but all also understand our Earth. So where do a lot of the, the artifacts, the pieces that you, you folks are, are, are lucky enough to, to have at the museum come from? Are, are they donated mm -hmm. or do you folks go out and seek them? Yes, yeah, so the museum actually opened in 1896 wow. and it started with a donation from a former Providence resident, John Steer, and he donated 900 uh, preserved mammals and birds to the city of Providence. They were looking at, you know, where they could house that, and so came the Museum of Natural History. Right. Um, the museum is in Roger Williams Park, a beautiful, beautiful yeah, park. It's a, it's a That's great part place. of the City of Providence Parks Department. So the museum is in a beautiful location where there's the Botanical Center right. and, of course, the zoo there, there and the really carousel, and just so enjoy well, being thanks out so much, there. Thanks so much for coming in and, and bringing that uh, today. Yeah, it's number 104. I'm not getting away with that. <laughs> uh, planetarium tickets must be purchased online, and if you would like more information, you can visit their website or go to ours. That's roadshow.com.